Good morning, sunshines. Totally trying something new with my computer, so I'm going to see if I look like a robot. How are you guys today? Happy, um, well, if you're not re-watching, I can see. This is going to be so much better. Good morning, Victoria. How are you? Good morning, Felicia. This is going to be way better, you guys. Morning, Nikki. Morning, Larissa. Um, what is it? Wednesday? Happy Wednesday, unless it's rewatch. Maybe it's a different day for you. I'm not really sure. Happy day. Remember when I used to just do that? Like happy any day, TGI any day, all the days. Uh, morning, Jose. Morning, Adrian. Morning, Kathy. Guys, as you jump on, you are about to do our 10th Miracle Morning together. And we write good morning, sunshine, when we hop on so that we can actively participate. Good morning, Brittany. Uh, we grow through sharing and through participation. So that's a piece of what we do. And um, we've also kind of started to create these new habits over the last 10 days to help ourselves improve, help our mindsets uh, improve. Buenos dias. I'm going to do one in Spanish, Randy. It's going to be so great. Um, and what we're doing is maybe you're not taking the time at 5 a.m., at 4 a.m., whenever that is, to create a morning routine to start to have more success and change in your life, but we're doing that together in this setting, right? Or you're checking in with accountability here, and we've gone over a couple different things uh, so far. We started off with looking at our gratitude and what that does for us. You can see, if you guys look in the comments right now, there are people that are starting to um, share their good morning sunshine or hashtag GMS, and then what they're grateful for. So look at all the pros we have, guys. You're killing it. Um, grateful for our shower this morning, right? Hot water. I think that's what I'm seeing there, Felicia. That's the best. Uh, grateful for your hubby. Adorable. Uh, good morning, beautifuls. Love it. Morning, Fritz. How are you? How's it going? So share what you're grateful for. If you haven't done this before, drop a one in because it's your first time in and we can welcome you as your first time, but get used to like, first you want to find something that's around you in your life because the emotions of feeling grateful for something is amazing. So start with that. Morning, Lazaro. How's it going, buddy? And then what we went into after that is we went into silence. We talked about meditation um, and getting quiet and had a few different challenges. If you've taken any time to get silent, share that with us. Whether whatever that was, whatever experience you had, maybe it was five extra minutes in bed just being quiet, or maybe it was out on a run, or maybe you actually meditated and you know sat there for however long. Oh, this is really like glitchy, isn't it? So share share with us if you were silent. Then we just started getting into affirmations. And we were just discussing how it's not the quirky and corny, which is funny that that's how I described it yesterday, because that's like 100% just me, quirky and corny, I, I think, but whatever. Um, the quirky, like, I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me. But it is reinforcing positive things about ourselves. And yesterday we just chose two, like just a couple things that you are or you are becoming. And so I think some of us get tripped up on affirmations because we're like, I'm not going to say that I'm healthy because I'm not healthy. That's exactly why you say you're healthy is because you're going to create something new for yourself with a declaration, with your words, with your mindset, and you're going to start to seek out health in different ways because you're saying, I'm healthy every morning. It will start to naturally become a part of who you are because you're saying it all the time, right? So um, that's, that's like the main piece of gratitude that we were looking at yesterday. And just starting small, starting with a couple um, things that you can start to create in your life. And here's something I wanted to just like hit right away. Maybe I should have waited a couple days. We practice a little bit more gratitude. Um, I'm sorry, um, affirmations. But sometimes, and just like in our gratitude, it's hard how we had um, practiced the attitude of gratitude in times of adversity, something like that. I don't know what I wrote. But it's the same thing with our affirmations. Um, sometimes you're really not feeling it, and that's the hardest time for you to say those things, right? Um, some people even feel like they're lying to themselves because they're declaring they are something when maybe they are not yet, but they are becoming because they're declaring that they are, right? I gotta shut this up. I do not know what's going on with my robot face. Maybe, maybe it's my interwebs on everything else. So I'll do that. Um, so when you're having the hard day, when you're having that moment where you just feel like you've got the shitty attitude, you wake up and you're like, on the wrong side of the bed, right? And we said, in those times, practice our gratitude. But what about also deciding and choosing 
a positive attitude and choosing to be that I am that you're working on when it's difficult, right? I love, I like keep getting distracted because your guys' I am's and gratitudes over here are so good that you're writing. Thank you so much. Love your faces. Um, and morning, Trisha, uh, Rachel, Cassandra, Naveen, everybody who's just joining. Um, so we're talking about our affirmations when it's, when it doesn't feel just right. And um, straight up, like, authentic moment with you guys. I think sometimes, like, oh, you're always in a good mood. Like, I get that a lot, like, from people that they just assume that I'm always, like, on with my attitude and wild and crazy whatever I have going on all the time. Um, guys, that's a thing of practice for me. And over the years, has it become yet, like, easier? Absolutely. But do I have, like, days where I just don't want to have that attitude where I don't want to um, do the positive affirmations? Of course I do. Like, I, I have hard days, too, and I have to make the choice to look beyond whatever the situation is and control my reaction so that I can move into a better space. So I can choose, like, when something um, happens, and, like, just, okay, so the, the, the notice of just the arm, right? I know it's just an arm. There could be so many other things that are worse. And um, I, but well, we've quite a few of us have experienced more things than that, right? But I'm telling you, like, I find myself getting frustrated because such simple tasks are so challenging. Like yesterday, I'm trying to work or trying to type to you guys, and like my hand hurts so bad because I'm trying to write back to you guys, and this hand's not used to typing, and it takes me like a full 60 seconds to just type a little thing. Like, do I get frustrated? Yes. I get frustrated, you guys. Like, it's not all perfect and easy. And like, once again, it's just an arm, right? It's just a couple months. But, um, but it's like, it can be frustrating. So it's in those moments, not just in the good moments, not when you wake up and you just got the promotion and your marriage is going perfect and the kids are behaving so well and my God, everything's great, right? Because those are the times where like the gratitude and the affirmations are pretty, like pretty easy and they feel pretty empowering. But sometimes, um, sometimes you don't feel that you guys, and you have to step into a place of choosing it and you get to choose. Like, that's the reality. You get to choose. Like I get to wake up and decide, do I want to have a pissy attitude because I can't do all the things that I want because I have to slow down because it takes me 45 minutes to figure out how to brush my hair and my teeth. Like, do I want to have a bad attitude about that? Or do I want to laugh in it? Do I want to find the, the gold line? Like the gold, that was not even the right saying. Like, do I, like, do I want to see the good in the situation and choose to say I am and still like right now I could feel in a lot of negative I am's, but instead I am going to say I am healthy. I am learning. My mind is growing. Um, I am having new experiences. I am being offered the opportunity to slow down again. Like I keep getting this opportunity given to me through pretty ridiculous injuries to, to give me the, the recognition that I need to slow down a little bit. Um, I am appreciative of my friends and my relationships that are embracing me with this, like helping me slow down. Cause I actually need like some sort of psychiatric help when it comes to slowing down, right? Some of you guys know me and like, yes, you are correct. All right. Um, so finding the I am's in the moments, the affirmations in the moments where maybe like you wake up, you know, that day you look in the mirror, mirror okay, girls, you're going to know, I don't know about you guys, but like you just feel fat. Like, this is just a simple one for us. I think we are all so mean to ourselves. We wake up and we don't appreciate our body for the tool that it is. We wake up like, ugh, ugh. Like, that's our that's reaction, right? My pants don't fit right. It's not buttoning right. Like, I just don't feel good. And I want to I want to just be miserable. And I want to have a bad attitude about it. And I'm just going to go on having a bad attitude. That does nothing for anyone. It doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't do anything for the people around you. It doesn't do anything for your progress. In fact, it shoots you backwards, Right? So how can we change that moment? And it doesn't have to be that. It can fill in the blank with something else that's going on in your life where you're having a hard time and you're creating the moments of gratitude because we talked about that. But also like you're not like you're looking at yourself and make it, you want me to say I am fit when I'm looking at that? That's what you want me to say, Callie? Yeah, that's what I want you to say. I want, I want you to create a mindset shift, right? A potential breakthrough to see yourself for something different to realize that you can create something different and it's not going to happen overnight. That doesn't mean you're going to wake up tomorrow and you're going to drop 10 pounds. You're like, Ooh, girl, look at you. That's not what that means. That means you're going to, you're going to be nice to yourself and maybe you'll take a couple actions during the day 
that make you a little bit more aware of being nice to yourself that reach you, help you reach those goals. It's about progress, you guys, and it's all about just like baby steps throughout your life. You don't just wake up a different person one day, right? You're, you're aware of making changes and these little tools can help. So guys, it's 8.15, which means we just spent 10 minutes together. And um, really what I wanna leave, leave you with today is when it's difficult, don't give up on yourself and don't give up hope and realize you make the choice. You make the choice. You make the choice to make it a shitty day or an awesome day despite whatever's going on. So shift your attitude and tell yourself, I am, what did we say yesterday? Uh, like I light up the room with my positive attitude when I walk in. So I don't know what, I said something like that, right? Make that choice for yourself. Uh, guys, day 10, so we have 20 more days. I don't know, maybe we'll keep doing this. We'll see. I love your guys' interaction. I appreciate you. I love your good morning sunshines. I love the participation. For those of you that are participating, you might think that it's a little silly novice thing that you're doing each day, but you are literally starting to change your mindset by participating in this. And I don't know what's gonna happen for you, maybe you'll expand into other areas too, but I appreciate you and you should appreciate you. When you look in the mirror, tell yourself you're a badass because you are, because you're doing it. And go out and have an awesome Wednesday or whatever day it is for you. Good morning, sunshine. Thank you for joining me today. Bye. <laughs>